the Christian Association of Nigeria, Lagos State, has commended the decision of the gov of Governor Babajide Sowolu to fully reopen churches, saying it is the right thing to do. But the Nigerian Medical Association, Lagos Chapter, described the decision to fully open worship centers in the state as hasty. The chairman of Khan Apostle Alexander Bangbola uh, argues that prayers were responsible for the minimal effects of the virus in the state. He said a minimum of 30 million Nigerians were expected to die from COVID-19 pandemic, but God prevented it. The cleric, however, added that the Christian Association of Nigeria would ask worship centers to keep to all safety measures to prevent further spread of COVID-19. But reacting, the chairman Lagos NMA Committee on COVID-19 Response, Dr. Jafet Ulubodi, said the state should have waited a while before the reopening of churches. Joining us on this matter, we have Reverend David Johnson, who is a clergyman with Foursquare Gospel Church, Shomolu, Lagos. Good to have you, Reverend Johnson. Yeah, good morning. Uh, do you think the church is ready for this Lagos state government directive? Are we ready? Well, uh, from, from the very onset, when the COVID uh, issue came up, uh, I'm sure that initially it was looking very bleak and uh, uh, lines were not clear then. But as the progress came on and we decided, we, we began to see uh, as things unfolded in Nigeria and uh, other parts of uh, the economy was opening, the markets were opening. And then we looked at the church and the church is more organized than those uh, other places, more organized because we know we'll take more precaution. Uh, we're able to control our people. And so we felt the church was ready. And then by the time we looked in and we started with the uh, partial lockdown, we saw that uh, we were able to control things. The church is ready. The church is ready. All right. What has been your experience with the partial reopening, even with the partial reopening that is currently uh, going on so far? Well, from my own organization, uh, you know very well that Foursquare, we don't just take decisions uh, uh, without uh, uh, the control of, from the national, all right? So uh, as we were reopening, we opened gradually, and we were following all the guidelines from the government, and uh, we're even going beyond that. Like I told you, where the church is organized. Uh, if, if there's anything that is organized in this uh, country, is the church too. Of course, there are other areas of the church. There are other churches that are little, little churches here and there that still have their challenges. Yeah. But That's... majorly, churches that are under a very structured, uh, this is, they are organized. And uh, my experience is fine. We, we, we were opening gradually, and we were able to take all the measures and... Um, We've not had any challenge. Yeah, Reverend Johnson, let's talk a, a little bit more about you know these smaller churches that you referred to. It, it, I would imagine that it's easy to be able to keep to the protocols in bigger churches, but how about smaller churches in you know rural areas who may not even ask, have access to water, to hand sanitizers, and face masks and the likes? What's the situation there? Well, like like, like I said earlier um we 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 do not desire that our people uh, get hurt or get infected or become a challenge to the society and every church has a leader we have a pastor even if you are in a rural area i am sure there has been some sensitizations going on in those places too from the government as much as they could all right and um except it except the church is run by uh, someone who doesn't, who is not existing in this world at all, mm -hmm. they will definitely put some measures. It may not be as solid as the churches in the city, but uh, you may not have sanitizers, but you have other things that are added. They could still get bowls to wash their hands. They could still arrange their people with the gap that is necessary within and keep uh, uh, distance as as required. Mm -hmm. And I still, I'm sure, I'm sure everyone is interested in the well-being of their people 
and of the nation. And so they, they would put some measures and definitely be ready to do All something. Right. Another important advice from the authority is that, you know, 65 years uh, above are uh, discouraged from attending as well as children. How, how can that be managed if you ha don't have children and these people who fall into uh, that age bracket? How do you intend to manage that? Well, uh, we're still appealing to the government on that from the from our leaders, from the Khan and others. Um, it's, a, it's a big challenge to us. You know, imagine you leaving home and leaving your children behind. You understand leaving them behind and you're in church of course you're, you're it's, it's, it's challenging uh for the for us like i said uh, we have been told even while we were doing the gradual lockdown we were holding our programs in homes we were holding them in little cells and the children were part of these cells and we've not had crisis from there you understand it's just about it's just about some caution it's just about some uh, care, some carefulness. You understand? So we are still appealing. It's challenging to leave our children behind. We feel that it's, if they allow us all coming and we have the, this, some churches have re uh, resorted to about two, three services, even though they, they were having one service before, just to be able to maintain uh, order and uh, the distance. So if the children come in, it, it should be also this thing. So we, we, we're, we're having that challenge and we're pleading and appealing thinking that the government will listen. For the aged, yes, we can afford to uh, let them uh, stay if, if uh, it, it is critical. But I still think that 65 years old man is not, uh, is not, is not, is not a fool. And uh, not all 65 years old men uh, are not in order in their mind. All so right, old men and women. What a 50-year-old man. man would do, a 65-year-old man would do equal. So All right, what Clergy I think David, so I think we would wrap it there. Thank you so very much for your contributions and keep staying safe out there.